Hi everybody, this is Gina from Vintage Digs, and I'm going to do a, essentially it's a shelf clearing, you know, uh, clearance sale. I'm trying to get all my shelves cleared off, so, because I have other stuff to bring in, I have no place to put it, so I've marked everything down that I have up there, and I'm going to sell it at clearance rates, because I need the space, so if you guys see anything you like, Make sure you uh, comment below the video with the number of the item or items. And I, if you're the first person to comment with that number, then it will come to you. You will be able to claim it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And I'm just going to break right into it. And I'm going to go through as many items as I possibly can. I have quite a few here. But, you know, I need the space. So hopefully you guys will see something you like. So item number one, I've shown this a few times. Again, most of this stuff you have seen before. But I need to get rid of it. So <laughs> I need the space. I love a lot of this stuff. I absolutely love but I've got to have space. Because I keep getting more stuff for you guys and I have no place to put it. So I can't put it on my shelf to even show it to you guys in a proper manner. So that's why I'm doing this. So it's this cute little... I guess it could be a trinket or soap dish or whatever you want it to be. It is a made in Taiwan piece, but it is still, it is still a vintage, like older piece. But I think it's really cute. It's got the baby polar bears. One's like in the water in his bath or whatever. And the other one's sitting there looking at him. <laughs> but cute little piece. And it's going to be number one. And it's going to be $3. Yeah, and I'm going to go as quick as I possibly can because I do have a lot to get through. I have this little bottle here. It is. It reminds me a lot of um, some kind of South American pottery, whatever. I <coughs> Excuse me. But it was made in Japan. The sticker was there, but it came off. It's about this big. Great condition, no damage at all. Cute little turtle on it. And it is going to be $2 number two. Number three is this pretty little lady with her goose. This is a made in occupied Japan piece. No damage, no issues. And she is going to be Three dollars, number three. Then I have a Florida metal tray, vintage tray. I live about, let's see if I can do it on the camera. Uh, about right here. <laughs> so, got a nice bathing beauty. I got checking her out over here. At the alligator, speedboat with skier, orange blossom, swordfish, all the Florida stuff, golfing, you know. It does show some age. On the back, I got this in the state sale, so I think it's an older piece. The front looks pretty good, though. And it is going to be number four for $3. I have another... Um, tray here, but it's a little bit older and it's a little bit rougher shape. It looks like it's got a little bit of light rusting on it, but it is an older Florida tourist tray. It's got the beautiful flowers yeah. on it. But like I said, it does have a little bit of surface rusting. I didn't try to clean it. You may be, you know, I might have been able to clean it up a little bit. But, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm selling it as it is for $2. Number five. Number six is going to be this old hand mirror. It is in... You know, it's got sticker residue on the mirror part of it, but it's got a nice handle. 
nice back. And it is going to be five dollars number six. I have a few books here for you guys. I have this in a people's house. In a people house, it is missing the first page here. And that's just folded. It's not missing. I don't think there was any writing in it. Otherwise, it's just that one first page is missing. But because of that, it is going to be $2, number seven. The next book I have for you guys is Katie No Pocket. Really cute book. And it is from... 1972. Seems to be in pretty decent condition. I don't see any writing. I don't see any pages torn. Really cute little book. It does have a little bit of scuff right there. But it's going to also be $2 number 8. And then I have this really cool book. I like the pictures. On the cover of this one. Look at these guys. Um, <clears throat> all like black and white illustrations. On the inside. And it is Here's How and When. And it is from 1955. It's telling kids, you know, how to cook and Celebrations of guests, dressing up, all kinds of stuff. How to have, have fine, fun with findings, find out about other people, friendship, all that good stuff. So it is going to be $2 number nine. It's finally in my books that I have right here. I have this, um, A Good Good Morning. It is a golden book. It's the kind that's like the thicker cards, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> cardboardy kind of stuff. Now this back is loose on it, as you see, but it's got some really cute little pictures in here. I mean, this is so cute. Such a sweet book. A little kitten playing with the butterfly. And it is from, I am not sure, I don't see the date on it. So, whenever it's from, it doesn't tell me. So, <laughs> I would judge by the older illustrations. You know, it's a little bit older. So, it's going to be. Two dollars, number ten. Okay, next I have this uh, shell art. Is somebody's painted the background black? It's really cool shells, all made out of shells. They've carved the leaves out, or the shells up, make leaves. It is a couple of hands. So I like that backer board stuff, the artist board. Rectangular piece. And it's going to be $3 number 11. Then I have this home interiors, and it's one of the candle covers. It goes over your jar candles. Patriotic theme. No damage. It is going to be three dollars number twelve. I got this cute little guy. He's missing some paint. Like it's been kind of rubbed in areas. He's got the cutest little face. And he is like ceramic. Look at that butt. Anyway. As you see, he's missing some of his paint, but it's no chips, it's just paint missing. 
He just, I just thought he was really cute, the little face. Again, pretty good size. Uh, he is going to be number 13, and he's going to be $3. Then I have, these are Stone Critters Bull Terrier and Poodle. He's protecting that poodle, huh? I guess his name is Ace. It is Stone Critters, the brand. Good size. And they're going to be $2, number 14. Keeping in with kind of the animal theme, I have the bulldog chasing the cat, salt and pepper shakers. These are uh, Price, is the brand. It's an older looking sticker. Albert S. Price, I believe is what it says. But these are ceramic. Little, give you an idea of the size. There are no dam there is no damage to either of them. I just think that's cute. And they are going to be three dollars number fifteen for the pair. Then I have this little um alabaster trinket box. It's got a flower on it. It says genuine alabaster hand carved Italy hinged lid. It is going to be four dollars number 16. Next up, I have a Tara, T-A-R-A, -A, Swan. It's got the beautiful shamrocks all around it. The gold trim. And it is going to be $4, number 17. Then I have the leaf with the little sauce or cream pitcher, I guess whatever you want to use it for. This has got like the pineapple design on it. I cannot remember who made this. Burgess of Lee. Something in England. It's an older piece. But it is going to be $3 number 18 for the set. Then I have this little kitty cat on the pillow planter. It does have a little bit of dirt in there from some where somebody used it as an actual planter. It was a hobbyist piece from they think they said 1982, handcrafted by Christine Weiss, 1982. It does have some crazing, big crazing in it, but it, it is underneath the glaze. And the sweet little kitten is going to be $4, number 19. And then I have this salt and pepper set, the carrot and the green pepper. These are new, they, have, they don't have the cork stoppers. But they're still not like brand new, you know. But I am doing the set of those for two dollars number twenty. Next I have the napkin holder. This is glass, it's not plastic with the metal. It is like a made in Taiwan piece, but it is still an older piece. And it is going to be four dollars number twenty-one.
showed this vase before. Um, it has this piece here, this green piece that's melted into the glass. I'm not sure. I think it was just decorative. Beautiful piece, though. The, the way the light strikes this vase is really, really nice. And it is going to be $5, number 22. Next, I have this glass votive holder. It's got these etched flowers in it, like a globe shape. And it's not solid. This is hollow, the way it's made. And it's going to be 23 for $2. Number 24 is my pair of elephants here. This is a uh, masterpiece by Home Co. Piece. Uh, 1253 is the number. Uh, I've got these on clearance. I've shown them once before, but this one, the only issue with it is its tusk is a little chipped right there on the edge. Otherwise, it's really lovely. And if you have it sitting the way it's supposed to sit, you're not, you know, you're not going to see that anyway. But because of that little bit of damage, it is going to be $5, number 24. And just so you know, this is a big piece. It's not a little tiny. I know it's hard to tell the size of stuff sometimes <laughs> on here. Then I have my optic kangaroo guy that you put on the light base. I've shown him before and nobody expressed interest, so I have dropped the price on him to clearance him out. He is going to be $2 over 26. Then I have these little vintage Kodak containers. They are the round ones. I've shown these once before as well. Um, I, think, I guess these were used to hold the filters for Kodak camera. And they are going to be $4, number 27. I told you guys I was clearancing stuff. Next, I have this canister, and it's made to look like a basket, and it's got this nice little strawberry lid on it. I'll take that off so I can break it, and as you see, that's about the size of the canister. It is going to be Five dollars, number twenty-eight, and it is pottery. When you guys get through watching, make sure you tell your friends. You can grab all the stuff that you like first, but then tell your friends. Let them come over and see if there's anything they like as well. Please. Uh, I got this little duck planter pulling the basket. I've shown this before. It does need a good washing on the inside, but other than that, he's in pretty good shape. Like this big. I just like the colors on him. I think he's so cute. And he is going to be $5, number 29. And then I have, this is just a box. It's one of the old boxes from Halibut Liver Oil, but I thought it would be good. It's Sears. It's from Sears. You know, it's a little, I don't know what they were keeping in it. But I thought it would be good for like a little display on a shelf or something. There's some writing here. Oh, he had large wood screws in there apparently. But it's going to be number 30 for $2 for the box. Your halibut liver oil capsules with 
via sterile. And I somehow managed to skip number 25, so I've got it right here. I don't know how I did that, but you know, things happen. This is a hand carved wood bird. And I guess it's supposed to be like an ashtray here. And he's wiping out. I guess it's supposed to be like an ashtray, but it's all hand carved. It has solid wood. I wouldn't necessarily want to use it for an ashtray because I'm pretty sure that wood burns. I don't know. But it could be used for other things. You know, you could put some jewelry down in there. You could have a jewelry hanging off his beak, even. But anywho, he is a little less than two hands. And he is going to be $7, number 25. Next is number 31. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, and the Edgeworth uh, Extra High Grade Sliced Pipe Tobacco Tin. It does show some age to it, as you see. But it is going to be $3, number 31. Then we have this nice music, I don't, I don't like to call them music boxes because it's not a box, but it's a musical statue, I guess is what you would call it. It is in good condition, it's on the plastic base. It is by Chadwick Miller, 1971, Japan. going to be five dollars number 32. Okay so we're gonna have some music in the background. I try not to wind it too tight but <laughs> I don't want to wait on it to stop so I'm gonna keep going. Um, I have these two birds. Now the problem these are signed by uh, Ron Ray, 1993, I believe is what it says on it, but they have some conditions. As you see on um, both of these, they were like the cardinal shaped birds, but it looks like they, I don't know if they were flashed or what, but they have like a little bit of remaining red on them for some reason there. And up in there, but they are signed Ron Ray right there. But it's two of them, and I don't know if you could get the rest of that red off or just leave it. I don't know. You could decide what you want to do with it. But it is two clear ones with a little bit of red, just so you know. And I'm offering them that at a hugely discounted price because I don't know what to do with them, honestly. So they're going to be $6, number 33, for the pair. Next, I have these Owl Salt and Peppers. Again, not incredibly old. I just thought they were really sweet. So, I picked those up. But I am, I offered them once before and nobody wanted them. So, here we are on the clearance sale. And I'm doing them for $3 for the set for number 34. Alright. So, number 35 is going to be this, which is one of the metal flower frogs, it is green. This is the size of it here. And it is going to be $6, number 35, for the frog. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> number 36 is one of these vintage, like, funny plates. The kitchen is closed due to illness. I'm sick of cooking. I just liked the old like cookware and all that kind of stuff that was represented on it. I thought that was really pretty. It does have the brushed gold around the outside of it. There is no maker that I found anywhere. Oh, it probably had a sticker. But it's about the size right here. Wall hanger. And it is going to be $2, number 36. Number 37 is this little flocked Sharpay or some kind of dog. 
I think it's a Sharpay puppy. It's very wrinkly. And he has a bank. Got some nice flocking, cute little eyes on him. And he's about that big. Look at those wrinkles. He is going to be $3, number 37. Party A is going to be my Gina eggs. The goofy little duck footed eggs. <laughs> um, this one right here does have a chip, as you see. It's not much of a chip, it's very thin, but there is a chip on it, but otherwise in great condition. Um, I don't see any makers or anything on it. I had looked it up before and I don't remember who makes them. But cute little footed egg. Eggs, cracked eggs, like I call Gina eggs because they're goofy. And they are going to be $5 for the set number 38. Next up we have this. Um, it is ceramic. The chili pepper wall hanging. Got your red and green chili peppers. Should save this for the Christmas sale. It kind of goes along with the colors, but I got plenty for the Christmas sale, so I didn't need to. But it's, you know, larger than my hand. And it is going to be $2, number 39. And number 40 is going to be this Lusterware tankard mug stein whatever you want to call it it is like a milky glass with luster on top of it. it is a nice tavern scene on both sides no damage at all no chips no cracks nothing really nice piece and it is going to be three dollars number 40. then we have number 41 who is this pretty little a uh, girl holding her flower bouquet with her basket, blue dress, nice condition. She is about this big. She is going to be, oh, she's made in Japan. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. She's going to be $2, number 41. Sometimes I forget these things. <laughs> number 42 is going to be this... Uh, milk glass, excuse me, piece of stemware. Um, and now I forgot who makes it, but it is the great pattern. And it is going to be $3, number 42. Then number 43 is this old mug, which I think is adorable. I got this from the antique store. Got these faces, little family on it. And it's got one little tiny crack right there. That's it. It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah, maybe it goes through right there at the very top, but I probably wouldn't use this to drink out of anyway. But it is on my clearance. It's, I'm sure you saw a second ago if I flipped it over. I did pay $8 for that. But Ross, may your cup always be full, Ethel May. And I am now offering it for $4, number 43. Big cup. Number 44 is this cute little, cute little bird right here. That I've tried to sell before. I apologize. My son is playing a game in the background, so he's being loud. But I've shown it a few times. But he's going to be just $2, number 44, with his little nest there and eggs. Set this over here in the cup. <laughs> and then... I... Oh, there it is. I lost the next one. Again, this one I picked up at the antique store. I love this plate. I thought it was really interesting with all the animals on it. I don't know what all those animals have to do with each other. I was not able to find this plate anywhere else. And I have looked. It is hand painted, which I can't believe because that turkey is amazing. 
Um, it is marked Foley, China, England. I'm sorry, I had to take it out from the camera because I can't read. As you see there, I looked for it, could not find it. But it is going to be four dollars, number forty-five. Number 46 is going to be this beautiful Italian bowl. I don't know if those are plums or what, but it is gorgeous. The colors on this is just so pretty. Uh, it is just marked Italy 16 slash E. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. It could be some type of majolica. Not real sure because it's not marked as such. Um... But it's going to be three dollars, number forty-six. So my next item is tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm going to hold it up for the camera, and it's this cute little cat. Look at him with his little polka dots, <laughs> little green eyes. There's the back of him, and he is marked Japan, as you see. And this cute little baby. It's going to be $2, number 47. And he is uh, ceramic, pottery, whatever you want to call it. All right, 48 is going to be this big old Scotty dog. He is, you know, ceramic as well. I don't think he really has a function. He's not that old. But... I just thought it was really nice because it's just plain white, so you could put it in a summer display behind some other things. Put a plant, like a green plant, behind him, and it would make it pop really nicely. But he is, you know, pretty good size. Let's see. Plus the butt of my hand, and then plus about, you know, half my finger. Good condition, no issues at all. And he is going to be four dollars number forty-eight. Number forty-nine is something unusual that I found, and I'm not sure I've shown it. Maybe I have. I don't remember if I've even shown. It. I think I have one time. But it's this wooden coffee canister with the lid. Look at the joining on it. It is missing some of his paint. Like, it's, you know, it's seen some days. There's the lid. And when you lift the lid off, it's got this plastic canister in there. Or your uh, plastic insert in there so you can put your coffee in it. But it is wood with plastic insert. And you can see the only problem I saw with it is right here on the bottom. It looks like it was maybe like veneered with like a walnut or something and part of that veneer has come off but and you know and then it shows some wear from being used but other than that it seems pretty okay so the coffee is going to be <clears throat> oh I'm sorry 49 for five dollars number 49 for five dollars And then finally for today, I have this guy, which I think is so funny, and I'm probably going to have to move the camera up a little bit so you can see it. It is one of those latch hook kit kind of things, and it is a dog on a green background, and he has been framed, but I think he's really cute. In fact, I'm going to pull the camera up just a little bit, sorry, my fingers in the way, so you can see him a little better square frame he is uh, a little about 13 and three quarters inches it looks like and I believe he is square well that yeah maybe about 13 and a half to 13 and three quarters inches but I just think that's so cute nice little puppy but he is going to be five dollars number fifty.
And that was my items for today from my clean out sale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, after you watch the sale and pick out anything you like, I hope that you can uh, tell your friends, share it with them so they can come in and maybe pick out a few things they like as well. I really appreciate you guys' support and everything and all the love you show me. Please know that I am sincere when I say that. Love you guys. And we'll be having another sale on Tuesday. That will be our Christmas in July sale coming up. And I have tons and tons and tons of items for that. So please join Ken and I on my channel here at Vintage Digs. And we'll be doing that on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll have our other regular sale on Cat's channel on Wednesday. That's our late night sale at 10.30 p.m. on Calypso Antiques Cat's. Please check out her channel if you have not, and subscribe to her and me as well. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look very, very forward to seeing you guys and talking to you again. It'll be a great set. It'll be a lot of fun. So, until then, bye!